video, we are going to see the Venn diagram. This chart is used to visualize uh, the logical relationship between different sets of data. And each set will be represented by a circle or an ellipse. And in Power BI, we need to use a custom visualization because it's not available in the standard ones. So in order to make it available in Power BI desktop, we need to go to the home um, tab and here where we find all our visualization, open and go uh, to the bottom where we can see get more visuals. Or alternatively, we can go to build a visual um, on, in the panels here. And here click on this um, arrow to open all the visualization available in Power BI. And go on these three dots and click on get more visuals. <laughs> desktop usually they um, up, uh, update them sometimes and some of them has um, a license uh, so you have to pay in order to use them uh, in this case we're using the Venn diagram that is for free so here we can search all the charts that might be available and I'm using the first one because I found it um, more complete and nicer to visualize uh, so you open it and when you open uh, the chat, you have um, an explanation of how to use it and the data you need, the format of the data you need for that chart, and all the updates and all the information and some examples, um, some screenshot of examples of how to use it. In this case, we can add it from here. So we add it um, to our Power BI dashboard and we'll see Visual already exists in this case because I already uh, installed it on my computer. In your case, you have a message saying installation is successful. I'm going to close this and let's see our Venn diagrams. So let's see in our example um, how we create the Venn diagram. Uh, we're using data from the uh, cell cycle genes. So we have four different studies that are Whitfield, Penodias, Grant and Bar Joseph. Uh, they have included different genes in their study for the cell cycle. Um, in this case, we have we, we can see here on the top right, we have a total of several 100 genes. And in this Venn diagram on the top uh, left, we can see that um, Whitfield are studying 203 of them. Pena Diaz 182, Grant 260, and Bar Joseph 265. And uh, on the bottom in the legend, we have also the percentage. So this 29%, it means that Whitfield is using 29% of the total 700 of one genes that are in this data set. In the visualization of our sequels and our logical relationships, we can see um, that uh, Whitfield has 20 genes that all the other studies are not included. Uh, 29 genes that are included in both Whitfield and Bar Joseph. Nine genes that are included in Whitfield and Penadiat. And this 11 is included in three different studies. So we have Bar Joseph, Penadiat, and Whitfield and 31 that are included in these three, so Whitfield, Bar Joseph, and Grant, 10 that are included in Whitfield, Penadiaz, and Grant, and at the end we have these 83 genes that are included in all the studies. Here we can see easily how um, the intersection between this data set and which genes each study are using uh, for the cycle of a cell. We have on the left other um, Venn diagrams that in this case are seeing the phase assignation um, of the different phases of the um, cell life. And so we have, uh, we can see here um, the, the legend of what these phases mean. And so G1 slash S is cell grown DNA synthesis, S is DNA replication, 
G2 second growth phase, G2 slash M is second growth phase mitosis, M slash G1 mitosis and cell growth. Having all this uh, phase assignation, we are, we are seeing uh, in each study which one of the cells are in those um, phase assignation and we are making the intersection between um, all of them. And we can explain this chart exactly as we explained the other Venn diagram. Uh, so how many genes are included uh, for that phase in each of the studies that we previously seen. In the other chart, uh, we, in this phase, we are just summarizing the data that we just seen about the four different studies. So we have a custom bar chart that um, it shows to a triangle how many genes are included in each study. Uh, so we can see uh, Park Joseph is the highest, 265, Graham 260, uh, Whitfield 203, Benadias 182. And seeing them with uh, the same colors as in the Venn diagram, we can immediately see which one is the highest uh, number uh, with, of genes. On the bottom instead, we have a bar chart that it's a um, standard visualization from Power BI. Like if we select it, we can see here on the top that um, it's highlighting this um, clustered bar chart that it's available in Power BI. And we are summarizing um, for each study uh, how many genes we have in, in which phase assignation that um, uh, cell life is. And in order to obtain um, a cluster bar chart uh, that it's, um, it's split it basically in, in four different um, parts, that is the different studies, uh, we need to add uh, here on the bottom small multiples that should be um, a dimension that we want to have uh, for the different uh, bar charts. And saying this, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.